What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Harry from Whipped Cream Sounds and in today's video we're going to go over Waves' new plugin that's just come out, it's called Lo-Fi Space and it's completely free for Black Friday so if you haven't got it you can go download it in the description below at the link there. Just before we get into the review I want to let you know that we have a full list of all the Black Friday deals over on our website in a nice little neat table that you can search for things like synths and all that type of stuff and it will come up with what you search for. All the free plugins including this wave ones are available over there so if you type in free you'll be able to find the free plugins and go download a ton of free plugins and a ton of free stuff that's been released this black friday so i would highly recommend you go check that out it's in the description below just click the link to the black friday plugin deals 2021 so let's hop into ableton as you can see i've been playing around with it just like created this little loop it's not my best work and i've just been playing around with lo-fi space to see what it actually does and how it changes the sounds and this is quite a cool lo-fi plugin and it's pretty different to the other lo-fi plugins that are available on the market right now for free. It's a pretty cool plugin that has an echo, a reverb, and some filtering for your echo and reverb just so you can scoop out the lows or the highs if it sounds too too bad. You have everything you'd expect on your echo and reverb options and you can choose between spring and plate. It's a little bit of a different echo and reverb than you expect. It's not just like a clean one and it's not sort of like an underwater lo-fi sounding one. It's more of a kind of distorted and gritty sound. But let's just go over the plugin and let's just try some things out. I've got this little loop here that I made in MIDI. And as you can see, I've got the lo-fi dirty preset on here. There's tons of presets in this plugin from loads of different artists. As you can see, it literally goes all the way down. I think they have about two to three, four maybe presets under each artist. So you can choose from quite a few. This is a little bit difficult to navigate, kind of annoying. I'd rather they have just you know, put it under drums or put it under vocals. But like I said, we got the Lo-Fi Dirty loaded up. So I'm just going to play you it without. And I've just put a little bit of chorus on it and stuff. Nothing really else changed the sound apart from some EQ. I'll turn Lo-Fi Space on, you'll hear what it's doing. It's... it's really adding a nice character. As you can hear from that, it's kind of adding this weird ambient and you you can hear it's not warm. It's more kind of like rattly and distorted in, in the cans. Now, as you can hear, I've got some pretty crazy warping effects going on here. And it's something I love to do with all Echo plugins. And you can do this in Waves as well. I've automated the BPM on the delay. And I've just automated that over a time. And what's that? what that's doing is it's creating this weird kind of like warping sound you can hear. I've got the mix on about 30%. So if I just turn it up, you'll be able to hear it a little bit better. Sounds so cool, man. This would be perfect for like sound design situations where you could like resample this and just create some mad kind of effects that you could put in your own unique sample library to you. It's also great at adding ambience. And as you'll see over here on the cello section, I've just copied and pasted this MIDI down here. And if we ever listen to it without the lo-fi space. Sounds nice, but it, it needs something, you know? So what I did on lo-fi space is I went through to a preset and I just found this one called AH Soaking Wet and it just sounded really cool. I changed some of the settings around here. I think I changed it to host and I changed the delay time as well and things like that. And if we turn it on and listen to it, you'll hear it adds this kind of really nice ambient space and makes it more stereo. Like really breathy. It's nice, like it's beautiful now, you know what I mean? It's got a weird crunch ambience and like a nice kind of character. There are also some drum presets in here. So I wanted to go ahead and try it on like a loop I just found in Ableton. I chucked it on there with an SSL EV2 because I'll show you why in a minute. Um, we had this space drums preset and it's really, really yeah, it just makes your drums sound like they're in space. I changed a few things around. I changed this to host, so it's synced to the host tempo. And I also changed around, I think, the time on this as well. So that's that with it on. That's with it dry. 
just makes this a really nice ambient drum section, which actually really fits what I've made, which I'll play in a, in a second. I was then like, this sounds really cool. I want to run this through the SSL EV2 because the SSL EV2 has this awesome mic preamp section. If you haven't had a look at my SSL EV2 review, it's over on my website. It's this fantastic compressor, channel strip plugin, it's awesome. Um, just added a little bit of compression to it to make it sound like it's pumping and it sounds wicked. Not sure if I like the echo on it, but I like the reverb. It gives it this weird metallic like punch almost. And it may not sound too good right now because I haven't dialed it in exactly how I want it or mixed it correctly. But actually, if you play it in context with the loop I made, it sounds pretty cool. If you're looking for a free vintage effect, I would definitely get this because it does sound great. It's got a wicked echo unit and it's got an awesome reverb. It might not be to my taste specifically, but it is a great plugin overall. And if you don't want to break the bank, then it's going to get you some cool vintage echo sounds, which I love it for personally. And I just love that sound to be able to resample it, create effects and do all kinds of weird stuff with it. It's also going to work really great on vocals and things. If you pop it on the end of a bus and just like put it up slightly in the vocal mix, it's going to add kind of like a nice underlying texture to vocals to give it that, you know, warmth and character that sometimes vocals need. So yeah, go grab it at the description below if you want to grab a free copy of that. Like always, there's loads of free downloads over on the website that you can make use of. We also have a full list of all the Black Friday plugin deals available over on our website, which I'll leave in the description below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.